Yeah, I missed that. Yeah. Right here, Saddam. Here, here's. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here. <coughs> Radio Raheem with world champion Saddam Ali. You fought the critics. Yeah. You you fought the fans tonight. 80, 85% Cotto. And you fought Miguel Cotto. And you beat them all. You proved everybody wrong. Right. How did you do it? It was a lot of fight. Uh, I have a lot of fight in me. Uh, I've been boxing since I was eight years old. Uh, everything wasn't perfect, but I lived and I learned. Um, I've been underestimated in the past as well. Uh, I didn't let nothing uh, take me off focus. And I worked really hard for it, honestly. I knew this was my opportunity. This was my chance. If I really wanted to be something, if I really wanted to move forward in my career and be a great, that I needed to step forward to take a fight like this, and I needed to win. And that's what I did. Miguel Cotto has been hit by a lot of tough guys, and he's gone a lot of rounds with heavy-handed fighters, him being one of the heavy-handed fighters in this sport. When you staggered him early, the crowd gasped, the media erupted. In that moment, what were you thinking? I was thinking, wow, I got him hurt. I know I have the power. Of course, I have more of speed, but I know I have power too. But I, I didn't let myself get over get over myself. Um, I said, I'm not going to jump on him crazy. I'm going to take my time. I felt like if I hurt him once, I'm sure I can hurt him again. Um, I just didn't want to get overexcited about it and, and, and screw up everything that I worked hard for. When those cards were red and they were close, you could hear a pin drop in Madison Square Garden. Did you believe that name was going to get red out for you? What was that moment like? Just that pause right before they said the name. I felt like I clearly won. It was a close fight, but I felt like I clearly won. But when I did hear it was that close, I was a little happy. Because if it wasn't, I could have said, oh, man, what if, what if I'm not getting this decision because it's not close? So the fact that it was close, I was a little happy about it. And I just, I just hope that they did, they did the right thing and I did get the decision. And, and it went my way, so I'm happy. We made some headlines when you said that your family and your friends were afraid for you before this fight. When you stepped out of that ring carrying that belt, what was the first thing that you said to your family or did they say to you? They're proud. I know they're proud. They were worried. Um, I told them not to be, especially my mother. <laughs> Super worried always. You know, um, I'm just, I'm grateful. You know, I prayed to just be safe in that ring and, and, and to shine. And that's exactly what I did. Radio Raheem with world champion Saddam Ali. Great performance. Excellent effort, man. We can't wait to see you in the ring again. Radio Raheem with Saddam Ali.